There's the music. You know what that means. Princess Kate could soon address her mysterious health issues when she returns to work following her recovery from abdominal surgery. Friends of Kate and William say the couple will disclose more information about her health condition, most likely at a public engagement. For more, we're joined by Sunrise Royal Editor Rob Jobson. Job, oh, good morning to you. Well, how likely is it that Kate will share details about her health when she goes back to work? I think if you're going to share the details about your health, I'd do it now because mm. it's been such a public relations disaster. I mean, it's from the from the beginning to end over this fake photo row, and I just think it might as well just get it out in the open. It, they haven't handled it very well. It's not necessarily her fault, and I don't blame her, her at all. I think that if you're paying big PR people big bucks, then they should really be, be, have a handle on it and make sure that fake photos don't go out. But really, also the fact that she, they were expecting. Like two months, a silence of two months um, about and it was actually not revealing anything, not showing photographs of her looking at Get World cards. It just wasn't really well handled. Whereas you compare that to the King, they've handled it pretty well. Uh, Jobbo, the world's media seem to be saying something dodgy's happening here. You, you're right there, is it? I don't actually think so. It doesn't look like it. I must be. If I was looking from the outside, you know, the outside in, I would say it definitely looks dodgy. But from what I hear, no. I think there's just a. I think that she's into a routine now. That she's not never was coming back before Easter. She's going to have the Easter holidays with her kids, and um, my understanding is that she's sort of just building up her strength before coming back. Um, you know, sometime in in April. So look, she's had a major operation. I think the Gillan mistake was to start saying. You know, you've got, you've got to go in and have abdominal surgery. Well, if you're going to be keep things private, maybe just say she's going in for a private procedure and don't mm. say anything about it, because that's led to all sorts of conspiracy theories, some of them completely outlandish. Where does this leave the PR department at the palace? I mean, will heads roll, so to speak? Well, you know, the way they run it, you know, they sort of got heads into palace and Buckingham Palace. So, I mean, the Buckingham Palace guys have done nothing wrong, but, you know, it's all under one banner. And uh, the brand for William and Kate and their PR department is right at the, on the floor, you know, being compared to as trustworthy as the, you know, the Iranians and the North Koreans. Well, that's not great, is it? So not at all. I, do, I think there's probably a bit over the top, mm. um, but it, it doesn't really bear well for them. I, to be honest, I think they've just got it you know, bad from beginning to end. Oh, yeah. Understatement of the exactly. year. I, I, did, I did a PR course at in the one year I was at uni, and I reckon this will be studied in PR courses the world over as how not to run a PR <laughs> yeah. department for many years to come. Thanks, Jobbo. We'll talk yeah. to you soon. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks, Jobbo.